Hey there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Policing. Hi, hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, week, month, <laughs> Thanksgiving, whatever you've got going on. Oop, Apollo hair. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a good one. Um, it is uh, the morning of Black Friday. I'm a little tired just from staying up and looking at all the deals and working on diamond painting and stuff, but um, I hope you got um, some good good deals, some good things that you were looking for if you were in the market to shop for diamond paintings or whatever you had um, on your list. Um, but today, as you can see, we've got a canvas in front of us. I was working on this last night and actually got it done. And I just did the unboxing of it yesterday um, at the time of you seeing that unboxing. Um, and I, I said in the video, oh, I'm going to wait till the summer to start working on this and get going. But I ended up just, the, the image was really calling to me. I wanted some fun poppy colors in my life and I figured I could get it done relatively quickly. So I went ahead and went for it. So if you're watching this and you're like, wait, he said he wasn't gonna do that at all this <laughs> for the rest of the year. I just wanted to jump in with a, a, a kit and just kind of do as quick of a finish as I could on it. Um, it ended up taking a little bit longer than I expected because of what I decided to do to enhance it, but it's here, it's done. I am so sorry that you didn't see any whipping chats or um, kit ups or anything. It just was kind of a wild hair and I decided to jump into it. So um, this might be a, a little bit of a surprise to see it done. Although if you do follow me on Instagram, I have been posting some progress photos there. Um, but without further ado, let's take a look at this most recent finish that I've had. This is Saved by the Flamingo and this is by Tabitha Lozano and Lazy River Wood Churning. <laughs> I'm sure people are like, what? What did you do? Yeah, I went a little nuts and I decided to just go for it. So here is our finish of this 50 by 65 centimeter round drill canvas, 34 colors. No enhancement drills were provided in the kit. It was just regular drills, but we're going to go through it. I did a lot to this canvas. It might be hard to tell. Um, I think the overall result might look really similar to the original image, but um, I think if we see another finish of this, it might look different from a color standpoint because there's actually a lot going on here. So quickly, I just want to talk about pros of this kit. This was a fantastic kit to work on. The symbol clarity was fa uh, fabulous. It was really, really nice. The drills are acrylic rounds. However, they worked up really nicely. I had very minimal trash. In fact, I didn't have any trash at all. All the drills were um, without tabs, those types of things. It just worked up really nicely. The color palette was awesome to work with, although I did do some pretty drastic changes. And um, overall, just a really fun kit to work on. I think that if you weren't to enhance it and just do it straightforward, it would probably go a little bit quicker than it took me. Um, however, there is a ton of color blocking if you were just to do it regular. So those folks that aren't super big fans of color blocking, as you can see, you've got a ton of yellow color blocking here, just a lot of larger color blocking sections. Um, but if you are a fan of color blocking, this is going to be awesome for you. The rounds were great. I could see someone using a, you know, 7, 10, 12, 15 placer because um, everything just shook shook through on the tray really well and all the drills lined up in my in my trays really well. So this was overall a really fun kit to work on and I would absolutely come back to a similar style of image. In fact, Lazy River Wood Churning I believe has two other kits. I think there's a I know there's a walrus and there's one other one and they're like saved by the walrus and saved by the this and that. Um, obviously 90s saved by the bell, uh, saved by the bell inspired artwork. So um, yeah, I, all pros, no real complaints here whatsoever. The only thing that I did notice is on the actual uh, paper legend that Lazy River Wood Churning or Lazy River Diamond Paintings sends you, the um, the symbols aren't printed. There's like, they're cut off a little bit. So like, it's supposed to be an R, but you, you can't quite make it out fully. It's not super clear. So I did have some um, trouble once in a while. I had to stop and take a good look at that paper legend to make sure I was reaching for the right color or the right DMC um, because it was a little blurry on the printed legend. But on the canvas, 
it's very legible. So you can always refer back to the canvas if you need. Um, you could, you know, cut out your washi tape so you can reveal it. Or if you don't use washi tape to border your canvases, you won't have any problems. And it wasn't a huge issue. It was just something minor that I noticed as I was working on it. I'd have to, I'd have to be like, wait, is that a K or is that an X? Okay, it's an X or, you know, what have you. So other than that, no real issues. I, I feel like I'm getting lucky working on some uh, really good quality kits recently. And Lazy River Diamond Paintings slash Lazy River Wood Churning is another excellent small shop to take a look at as you're doing your, um, your uh, holiday shopping, either as a gift or for yourself. So um, yeah, no real cons, I guess. So we'll get right into the enhancement drills and what I did here. So I'm going to kind of roll the canvas up a little bit and kind of just scroll through it and show you what I did here. There's quite a bit to talk about. Um, I honestly offhand don't remember exactly how many enhancement drills I use, but we'll kind of count them up as we go. Um, so I'm just going to kind of start here. Um, right away, what I did with these colors is all of the bigger color blocking, I alternated with Diamond Dots neon colors. So if we take a closer, it's, it's hard to see on camera, but these are actually checkerboarded with a neon and then the regular color that um, Lazy River Wood Churning um, sent out. So I checkerboarded pretty much this entire canvas, which is why it took me a little bit longer than I was anticipating. And in retrospect, I don't know if I would do this again. I think it gives a really cool effect, but it was very, uh, time-consuming work. So once again, you can see that yellow is actually every other one is a different color, and I alternated with uh, Diamond Dots Neon Yellow and then the yellow that came in the kit. The same here with this green. I hope you can see that. I alternated with a neon green and then kind of that more avocado green that came in the kit. I think that's coming through. I left all the transition colors the same, so really all I did um, as far as the alternating colors was the bigger blocks, but you can see some more of those olive greens and stuff. Those were all transition colors that came in the kit. Here, here in the black dots, um, we did a rotating black and metallic silver here. So we've got that going on. And then as we continue to scroll down, We've got a, um, uh, sorry, a sparkler, DP with sparkler um, aqua here, alternating with the blue. And then in the actual flamingo's main body, we're alternating with a neon pink and a regular pink there. So once again, checkerboarding all of that took quite some time, but I think it gives a really cool kind of neon uh, 90s vibe. In the flamingo's head, we've got a little bit of some, uh, or in the kind of the beak area, some yellow crystals that I got uh, from a, a different kit, and then the Topaz Sparklers from DP with Sparklers. So then continuing to move down, we've got some purple crystals there right in the tip of the beak. Um, there's like a little hair stuck in this kit. I don't know if you can see it. I need to pick that out. <laughs> um, and then here in the orange, we're alternating with the orange that was given to us by the kit, and then the neon uh, pieces as well from Diamond Dots. Once again, all checkerboarded throughout the entire body. All of this is all checkerboarded with a neon color. I was thinking it would give it kind of a different, more neon look, and I think it does. I've, um, I've seen um, a portion of this, I believe, completed, and I've seen another kit with similar colors completed, and it gives it more of a neon kind of poppy look. Continuing down, oops, look, I missed a... I don't know if you can see it. I missed a drill. I'm going to have to go find that. Um, <laughs> and then in the flamingo's legs, I used coral reef sparklers from um, DP with sparklers. I checkerboarded that throughout the legs. You can see that there. And then down at the bottom, once again, alternating with metallic and black in those black dots. So that's kind of what we're working with. So yeah. Um, let me see if I can get that in line. So yeah, I think it gives it more of a poppy neon look as compared to what it would look like if I had just used the regular colors. But once again, not entirely sure that it, it's um, a undertaking that I would take on again just because it was a little bit daunting going through these whole areas and checkerboarding everything. So what I would do is peel off a section, reveal a section um, with double-sided release paper go through and checkerboard that entire section with my checkerboard color, and then go back through again with that alternating color that I had decided to use. So um, a little bit more time consuming. However, I was um, able to complete this. I started it on the 16th of, um, of November and I finished it on the 24th. So 
eight days to complete this. So not too bad, but with this color blocking, I could have got it done a lot faster had I decided just to multi-place and not do the, the weird checkerboard thing. But in retro, um, and I think the overall effect afterwards looks really cool. It's not super impactful because, um, because it's not like a, a big change as far as like, uh, it's hard to describe. Like it doesn't look that different from the original image, but I think if you were to see this kit completed as um, as provided from Lazy River Wood Churning, the tone would look completely different. I think we'd have more of a deeper tone here and maybe even slightly more muted. These neons really make this thing pop and glow, um, especially in person, it looks really cool. So yeah, this is Saved by the Flamingo by Tabitha Lanzano. This is a uh, 50 by 65 centimeter round drill canvas with 34 colors. Um, I think now that I'm trying to count it up, we've got um, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe eleven special drills that were used to enhance this. Um, a lot of it I did kind of on the fly, especially in the flamingo's beak and head. I just got to that section. I was like, you know what? I'm going to dress this up with some more crystals and do some fun things here. So I kind of lost count at a certain point because I was kind of in, improvising my, uh, my adjustments. But I think the image looks really clear. It looks beautiful at a viewing distance. It's a lot of fun. I think this is going to be a fun summer kit to hang up at my office or hang up in the house. It's just really cool. So um, yeah, that's it. Um, like I said, I'm a little sleepy still just from um, being up really late and um, watching some countdowns to Black Friday and um, making my kit purchases and then still working on this, but I got it done. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments, um, how you think this ended up uh, churning out. Um, I think it looks really, really good. Um, but let me know your thoughts on this and if this is a kit that you would really enjoy doing. I'll put the link to Lazy River Wood Churning down in the description box so you can head over and have a peek yourself. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will get back to my regularly scheduled kits. Um, I'm going to be starting on um, some kits for jingle drills and uh, winter with DAC, I think is the event. So we're going to be diving into some really fun stuff, but um, sorry to surprise you with this finish. It was really random that I decided to snag it and start kitting it up. And before you know it, I was, you know, knee deep into this kit. So um, my apologies again for not providing status updates or a video around it. It just kind of happened. <laughs> so um, I'll also be including um, at the end of this video uh, just a little bit of a time lapse of me working on one of the sections just so you can see how I was doing that checkerboarding before we get to our outro. So um, once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with family, friends, anyone that you think might take some value out of it. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Happy placing. Bye. 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 Bye.